welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by Pham Hong Hai, who is the Vice Minister of the Ministry of Information and Communications in Vietnam. Welcome, sir. And you were taking part in the high-level session this morning on bridging the digital divide. Can you explain to us what the government is doing in Vietnam in bridging that divide in your country? Yeah, uh, for bridging the digital divide uh, in Vietnam. Uh, first of all, the government of Vietnam uh, tried to create a very competitive environment uh, for uh, to uh, promote uh, the telecom operators to provide uh, um, uh, sustainable uh, and uh, network and service with quality to uh, all the people. And secondly, uh, uh, we do promote the uh, own uh, enterprises, even uh, small and medium enterprises established to um, create the uh, ICT applications, especially ICT applications for uh, using in the rural area. Uh, for example, uh, for farmers uh, to exchange uh, merchandise, uh, merchandise uh, uh, and uh, to sell their products. Uh, uh, how to uh, cultivate uh, their plants, etc. Because of course farmers everywhere in the world, more and more they're being affected by climate change. Mm. So I imagine that having this information immediately available to them will also help them know when to plant their crops, for example. Yes. Uh, uh, actually, uh, Vietnam is a world country which uh, be uh, affected by um, very much about climate change and uh, information needed uh, in uh, uh, some in some time where uh, climate change has affected uh, to farmers are also very important uh, for the farmers. Because are you seeing that there is still a difference between uh, usage of mobile services 3G, 4G in rural areas and in urban areas? Uh, up to now, uh, the network quality and service uh, are uh, quite the same between rural area and uh, uh, and uh, in the urban area. Uh, but uh, the the usage is still different. Uh, in urban areas, uh, they are using much more than in rural area. Um, I understand that because it's still it's lack uh, of the applications, and uh, we have to promote that. You were talking about applications which will help uh, farmers. Mm. Are you thinking of developing applications in the field of education and yes, health? Yes, yes. Uh, we have a special program for uh, the uh, uh, educations uh, online as well as uh, in the uh, hospi uh, hospitals, uh, also in the rural area. Pham Hong Hai, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Information and Communication in Vietnam, Thank you very much for joining us. Okay, thank you very much. And do please join us on the ITU YouTube channel to hear yeah. more interviews with ministers, regulators, experts from industry and the public sector on how information and communication technology can really help people in their daily lives.